In this short video, we're going to talk about a very powerful feature in Roots Magic called Named Groups. Now, a named group basically allows you to select any group of people in your Roots Magic file and assign a name to that group so that you can then use that name when printing certain reports or creating GEDCOM files or things where you might normally select a group of people you don't have to keep selecting that group over and over. You can just uh, reference that group of people by that name. So let's show you how to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is on this side list, I'm going to click this little tab right here. It's the named group. It looks like a little folder with people in it. Now, if you don't have this side list showing, there's a button right here, and this side list may be closed. So if you click it, if it's closed, if you come over here and click that little button right there, that tall button, then it's going to open up that side list and you can click on that little tab. Now right now we don't have any named groups. So let's go ahead and create a couple by clicking on the little named group button on that panel. And I can come in here and I can create a new named group. And when I click on that button to create a new named group, Roots Magic is going to bring up a list of everybody in my file. Now I can go select people just by clicking on their names if I want to do this the hard way. I can just go in here and do this. Now I don't have to just pick people randomly like that. I can select them. But let's go ahead and do this. I'm just going to pick some random people. And when I click OK to select that group of people, Roots Magic asks me for a name for this group. So I'm going to call this group Random People. And I can call it whatever I want. Once I click OK, I now have a new named group. And anytime I refer to that group random people, it's going to give me that selected group of people. Now, if I highlight it and click Edit, you'll see it's going to open up that list and those people will be checked. And I can go change or add to that group. I could also delete a, a named group if I'm not using it anymore. Or if I decide I want a better name for it, I can click Rename and just change that name. Okay, let's create a couple more groups. I'm going to go ahead and click on New. And instead of just randomly clicking on people, I am going to click on Mark Group. In other words, I want to mark a group of people. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now I can mark the family of that highlighted person in that list, everyone in the file, everyone in their tree, ancestors, descendants, and so on. Those will basically select that group of people. But the one we're going to talk about here uh, is select people by data fields. And this is a very powerful feature. And this is going to let me actually select people based on their data. And this particular screen, I'm just going to say select a field and I'm going to pick birth. Now it's going to have all the different events and I can choose whichever event I want. And I want birth, place, I can do date or place or the value or the note or any kind of thing right there. So I want the, everybody whose birth place contains Iowa. Okay, and then I could also say and or this is true and or this is true and or this is true and so on. But we're going to keep it simple. Everybody whose birthplace contains Iowa. In other words, everyone who's born in Iowa. Click OK and Roots Magic has marked 47 people. And if I were to scroll down here and look at each of these people, you would see that they would each have Iowa as their birthplace. But I'm going to go ahead and select OK. Again, I can enter the name for this group and, you know, I could put farmers, you know. I mean, I know that's... Uh, uh, we'll, we'll just call it, we'll just say born in Iowa. So you can, you can, again, you can call it whatever you want. I now have a group called born in Iowa. I'm going to show you another thing that, let's say you wanted everybody who was not born in Iowa. Okay, the way you can do that is go up here to mark group. And that's why we have this option, mark everyone in the database. And when I check that, that checks every single person. Now, as a group, that's not really useful having everybody because all of the reports will select everybody by default anyways. But I'm going to mark everybody. And then I'm going to go unmark a group of people. And I'm going to clear their data by the data fields. And I'm going to use that same thing, birthplace contains Iowa. So in other words, I'm saying uncheck and it unmarked everybody who was born in Iowa. So right now, the only people that are checked are the ones who were not born in Iowa. So I'm going to click OK. 
I'm going to put not born in Iowa. Okay, let's create one last group here. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to, again, say select people by the data fields. I'm going to start over, so I'm going to click the clear button. And I want to say everybody who's color coding. Okay, Roots Magic lets you color code people. You've noticed that here on the screen. I got some people in red, blue, and whatever. So I'm going to say I want everybody who's color coding is blue. Okay, then I'm going to say and their sex is male. Okay, and five people were selected. And of course, when I tell this okay, this is going to be the blue man group. Okay, so now we have we have five group four groups here. When I click close, you're going to see the four the groups uh, will show up in this little drop list and. I can actually go through here and I can say born in Iowa and it gives me a list of all the people born in Iowa. Not born in Iowa, there's the ones that were not born in Iowa and random people, there's those random people. And this is basically going to be similar to your normal list of everybody except you can filter it. Now one of the other nice things you can do is on the people view. When you go to the people view um, normally it shows everybody in your file, but if you've created named groups, when you click on this button right here, there are your different groups. They will show up right there. So I can click and there's my blue man group right there. Okay, so I can, I can switch back and forth between show everyone or selecting specific groups of people. Okay, um, let's show you a couple of pla other places where groups are going to come in useful. Okay, let's go into reports. I'm going to go into the reports and I'm going to choose lists. Now there's a, actually a bunch of different reports will have options like this, but I'm going to pick just this one specifically, an individual list. And there'll be, like I say, on a lot of these reports, there'll be an option that looks something like this and it'll say people to include and normally it will say everyone. And Normally, if you click on that, you'll have two options, everyone and let me select them from a list. If I click select from a list, it's going to bring us up that exact same list of everybody we had before where we go pick them. But as I mentioned, if we have named groups, we don't have to go select this group over and over. So if I wanted an individual list of just my blue man group, I just select blue man group and I generate the report and that's gonna, we're gonna bring that in here. And there is my individual list of just my blue man group. Okay, again, like I say, um, a lot of the different reports, we don't have time in this little short video to cover all the different reports, but a lot of these reports are going to have the option, do you want to include everybody in the file or a group of people? And if you select a group, you will have those named groups available. Another place that groups become available is if you're creating a GEDCOM file. So if I go to File and then go down here to Export, in other words, I want to export a GEDCOM file. I want to create a GEDCOM file. By default, again, it's going to be everyone. But if I select this, again, I can go pick the people from a list or I could just export just my blue man group, just my born in Iowa, not born in Iowa, or those random people. I can select them from there as well. Another place that it's available is if you happen to be using the family search person tools. So if I'm going in and I happen to be using family search, you're going to have, uh, when you have your list of everybody, and again, it has the little side button, so you may not actually see that data. You may actually, or that list, you can expand that out to see that list at any time. And it also has a filter. So if instead of seeing everybody in my file, I only want to see a particular group of people, those that were born in Iowa in this case, I click OK and I'm going to get just those people that were born in Iowa or just my blue man group again, I'm going to get just those. So I can filter using my named groups right here in the family search tools. Okay, the final, final thing I want to show you, and this is actually kind of the opposite of what we did before, when we created that blue man group, we went into those named groups and 
we basically said, I want to create a new group and I want to, this group I want to be created from everybody whose color coding was blue. Well, let's say I'm actually doing color coding. If I click on tools and come down to where I'm actually wanting to color code people, uh, normally I can say color code, make them this color, and who do I want to color code? The ancestors, descendants, whatever. But one of the options is the named group. So if I wanted to change everybody that's in that blue man group to red, I can just select them. I can select a named group, click OK, and now you'll see right here, everybody that was in that blue man group is now red. Okay, in fact, if I go over here and select that blue man group, you're going to see they're all red. Okay, so that would be a use where you would want to be able to go in and edit the blue man group and, uh, excuse me, not edit them, uh, rename them and rename them to the red man group. Okay, so now they're the red man group. And so that is how named groups work. So hopefully you'll be able to uh, find a good use for these and help make uh, your research easier.